Hello everyone, my name is Norma and today we're going on a Vegas photo tour. In case you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's basically just filled with pictures of me and Vegas. That's how much I love it. So today I'm bringing a very special guest who will take us on an awesome photo tour. Hey guys, my name is Lydia. I moved out here to Las Vegas about six years ago in 2015. And one of my favorite things to do is come down to the Las Vegas Strip, take photos here at all the iconic landmarks and hotels. So last year, in September of 2020, I started Las Vegas Photo Tours. Yeah, you guys should really take her tour. It's amazing. We're gonna go to so many picturesque locations. I'm really excited, how about you? I'm super excited. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I mean, there, it depends. I have like a really like wide variety of people that come on my tours. I have Instagram influencers and content creators, yep. but I also just have families, couples, individuals that just want to capture the moment. It's anyone. If you don't know how to pose, don't worry, I'll pose you. <laughs> and guys, I brought a second special guest. This is going to be Tim. He actually runs the page Las Vegas Views. He has an awesome Instagram. Tell, tell us about it. Thank you guys. It's uh, Instagram Las Vegas Views. It's two S's. Um, basically, it's all the best Instagram spots in Las Vegas, and we show you a map of how to get there. He's going to be coming along on the tour with us, uh, but yes, please do check out his Instagram. If you ever need any picture ideas, he, his Instagram is the place to go. I've actually been featured on him maybe a few times, kind of had a little debate on which view was the best. He says Treasure Island parking lot, I say Mirage parking lot, so. But let's go ahead and start the tour with him. Let's go. Did you right up here? If you want to stand here and face me, you can go ahead and put both hands out for me on the railing behind you. Awesome. And then go ahead and cross at the ankle for me as well. Nice. Excellent. You crushed it. A natural model. Thank you. I'm going to start with full body shots for you, and then I'm going to go ahead and come in for portrait. Perfect. Crushed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're always going to want to watch for the crosswalk signs out here. Vegas actually has one of the highest pedestrian accident rates in the country. Isn't that great? Yeah, what a great statistic about <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, I've told you guys that plenty of times. Do not cross the street unless the green man is on because you will get run over, get honked at, and I might be one of those people that honk at you. <laughs> so we are walking now towards the Paris Hotel. Our Eiffel Tower is actually almost exactly half the size of the real one. Okay. So ours is 541 feet tall, and the real one is about 1,100 feet tall. However, our Eiffel Tower is one of the tallest replicas of the Eiffel Tower. There's over 80 replicas of the Eiffel Tower around the world. So even though our Eiffel Tower is only half the size of the real one, ours is fireproof and earthquake proof, and the real one is not. Not that we get many earthquakes here, it's actually very rare, but good to know. You could be dining at the Eiffel Tower, restaurant and earthquake and you'll be fine. <laughs> so we always make a stop in between Tex and Mon Ami Gabi, which are actually two of my favorite patio restaurants in Las Vegas. We come right up here in front of the Eiffel Tower and take some nice wide angle shots that get the whole tower in the shot. I would stand this way, yep, just like that, and then twist the top of your body forward. Exactly, just like that. Tim, look for me up this way. Uh, chin down just a tad, perfect. Wow, that's a great shot. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. <laughs> way because if you face straight on it will stretch you out a little bit so this is perfect just like that twist the top of your body towards me excellent perfect and then you're gonna look up for me right there perfect <laughs> Ta -da! have you guys ever eaten at one of these two patio restaurants uh, i've got to both actually yeah I love them both. do you have a preference i like mon ami gabi better so do i yep so do I, especially for breakfast. Their breakfast there is excellent, especially their eggs benedict. Ooh, so good. But you definitely want to make a reservation because they are always booked solid for the patio. So this is really cool. It's not just a photo tour. Um, <laughs> she gives you a lot of suggestions. That's a really cool tour. The CVS, by the way, um, is famous for being one of the top CVSs in the country for stolen merchandise. <laughs> yeah, I believe wow. it. Exciting times. Great place to stop for water and snacks because they will not gouge you nearly as much as the hotels do. Mm -hmm. So instead of paying like $7 for your bottle of water at the Bellagio, 
you'll pay $1.49 here. If you've never been to Vegas before, you want to watch out for this corner right here. There's a guy that dresses up as a bush in a pot and sits right here and waits for people to come around and then jumps out at them. It is absolutely hilarious, but I have seen people that get so freaked out that they like fall on their bottom. So <laughs> be prepared for this spot. This is one of the most spots people will take for the flamingo, um, especially at night with the, the flamingo lights because I think the flamingo is the oldest on the strip, oldest casino. So the spot usually is here and most people will try and avoid the sign. This hotel, the Flamingo, was built back in 1946 by the renowned mobster Bugsy Siegel, but he opened this hotel. It was very much mob control, but it was kind of an immediate fail, so they had to rebrand it and do a couple different things to it, but it still exists today. No longer owned by the mob, it's owned by Caesars now. Wander out to the Flamingo Habitat because it can't be the Flamingo Hotel without having Real flamingo. And fun fact, the flamingo habitat is free. I actually also include them in my free things to do video. And straight back there, my biggest thing about this shot is that you see the high roller right behind in the distance. So that's gonna be a perfect framing, a perfect background of all of your flamingo photos. The last time I talked to the flamingo habitat coordinators, they told me that most of these flamingos are over 40 years old. So that's above the average lifespan for flamingos, but they're taken very well care of, so just keep on living, right? Okay, Norma, I'm gonna have you stand right there in front of that sign, because we're gonna block that exactly. Go ahead and put your hands out on the railing. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna start with some full body shots. Perfect. And today, the flamingos are framing you perfectly. Look at this flamingo back there. Flamingo back there. See the high roller too? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, if you guys see me post a whole bunch of pictures and I'm wearing the exact same outfit, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> I've been here maybe six times and I'd never known that there were flamingos at the flamingo. No way. Yeah. Now are on the Link Promenade. This is a great spot to come eat and shop right in between the Flamingo Hotel and the Link Hotel. But we're gonna come a little bit further down and get a photo right here with the high roller in the background. So the high roller is currently Currently the tallest observation wheel in the world. We built the high roller back in 2014 and we built it a little less than 10 feet taller than the current number one which was in Singapore. So Singapore now is number two and then the London Eye is number three. Ours is 550 feet tall and the London Eye is actually less than 500 feet. So, mm. but don't get too excited. Dubai is building an observation wheel that's going to be 130 feet taller than ours. So they will take the number one spot at the end of the summer. All right, so Norma, I'm gonna have you actually stand right about here, perfect, right there in the middle. And what I'm gonna have you do is pretend that you're walking. So you're just kinda gonna glide back and forth. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Swing your arms a little bit, exactly. Yeah, that's gonna be it right there. Excellent. Oh, I like, I like yeah. the ones of you looking <laughs> off. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. Just a leisurely stroll down the Link Promenade. <laughs> like we do that every day. Exactly. We do, though. We do. <laughs> Brooklyn Bowl. They have a patio slash terrace and you have a really good shot of the entire promenade and you can see the high roller as well. So the Brooklyn Bowl is great for concerts and it's actually one of my favorite spots to get fried chicken. We're waiting for them to reopen, but their fried chicken is bomb. Uh, my favorite spot for fried chicken on the strip is Yardbird at the Venetian, but I haven't been to the Brooklyn Bowl yet, so I'll have to go there and check that fried chicken out as well. So right now we are actually going to take a small detour and we're going to head down to what I call the Evil Knievel Fountain. And I call it that because Evil Knievel jumped this fountain on his motorcycle back in 1967. He was the first to do it, though a couple other guys have done it since then. He set up this whole publicity stunt to jump the fountain. And he did it, he jumped it, but he missed his landing ramp. He crashed, he broke multiple bones, and he was in a coma for 29 days afterwards. Though so that is disputed by his estate. They say that he was not in a coma that long. This is the fountain. Okay. So we definitely want to get a good photo of you here. Mm -hmm. If you want to put one hand on your waist for me and then the other one, yep, just drop right there. Excellent. So keep doing exactly what you're doing. And then let me have you kind of look off this way. You can see all of Caesars and everything. Yeah. 
Ooh. If you guys ever notice my Instagram, I don't smile <laughs> in my Instagram. <laughs> Not really. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to do more of a like a serious Instagram over here, but that's why I'm not smiling in any of these pictures either. <laughs> you have like a serious model yes. face going on. Yes. Yeah. All right, Tim, I'm actually going to have you stand right here just so I can see all the fountain as well. That will be excellent. This is a good spot if you want to just kind of like cross your hands, you can do that. You can also do very much like a power pose because that's very Caesar's Palace. Excellent. Yeah, okay, I saw the smolder there. <laughs> okay, we're taking a little detour off of Lydia's tour. So, the number one spot that I get the most likes, the most comments, uh, will be right up here. Uh, we'll show you right when we get there. Uh, and then there's also another spot, which is there's the gazebo um, at Caesar's Palace at the corner. So we'll check those two spots out. All right, so here we are in front of uh, Caesar's, right on the corner of Flamingo and Las Vegas Boulevard. This is probably the number one place on the strip where people take wedding photos. And it'll be here usually at night, but you can get some good shots here during the day. But under the gazebo, you'll have the couple sitting, or sorry, standing in the middle. They'll be kissing or they'll be dancing. Ready? And twirl. Beautiful! You even have to And then come. Come and sit! Oh, nice. <laughs> so Very prom pose. Prom pose. Exactly. Perfect. Then like, very much like, loving. My love. My dear. <laughs> The view, gorgeous. So romantic. Yes, this is very romantic. Yes, the love, the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it is May, so we are a It is sweaty. Vegas, you know? <laughs> Prepare for some sweat. It's a natural glow. It's okay. You don't even have you to apply glow. highlighter. Exactly. Okay, we're here at the number one spot on, uh, on Las Vegas views for the best pictures. Um, so it's right on the corner again of Flamingo and Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, you want to get up to the overpass and it'll be right on the top. So let's go. So here we are at the top of the escalator. This is the perfect view facing south of the Strip. Um, the most iconic part is the Eiffel Tower that everyone wants. And if you're lucky, you'll have the Bellagio Fountains on the right side going up at the same time. Oh, that is nice. You can see the Bellagio Fountains back there. That's epic. Yeah, right oh, there. Nice. That yeah. is nice. And yeah. the Cosmo, the alleys, yeah. and all the Vegas traffic. Right. <laughs> I'm going to frame you right in between Paris and Cosmopolitan, and I'm going to go up a little bit to get some of those fountains. Ooh, That's really yeah. nice. Ooh, look at your curls too. Oh my goodness. End of detour. All right, it's the end of the detour. What's next on the list, Lydia? All right, we're gonna walk past Caesar's Palace and we're gonna go take a photo with the replica of the Trevi Fountain. So this is the replica of the Trevi Fountain that's in Rome, Italy. So our replica is about three times smaller than the real one, but it's about 10 times less busy. So pros and cons for sure. And then also, I've actually taken a picture here too because of Lydia's page. Oh my God, thank yes. you. Awesome, look off this way for me. Perfect. Excellent. Love that background. Ooh. Yeah, zing. All right, so we are gonna walk past the Mirage and then we're gonna cross over to the Venetian. Venetian is the last spot on the tour. Also a great place to end because there's so many excellent restaurants there. So after your tour and being out in the sun, you can go and get like a, a milkshake at Black Tap, fried chicken at Yardbird, or just stop in on the food court and get something to drink. So Tim has already shown us his favorite spots. Lydia has shown us some great spots. Before we end the tour, I'm gonna to take you to one of my favorite spots. It's actually right here in front of the Mirage Hotel. And I know a lot of people like to take pictures on the front where the, vol uh, the volcano is gonna be in the back. Well, I think you should be on the side over here because you're still gonna get the volcano, still get the lake, but you're still gonna get Treasure Island in the background too. So this is one of my recommendations. Let's do it. I, I like, like that, that. kickback look too. Yes. Yeah, that's a really nice look. I wore chucks today. Hey! <laughs> yes, that's always my number one recommendation. Wear, like, they might not be the cutest, but wear your Nikes, wear your Adidas, yes. like, wear your flat shoes. Yeah, I think sometimes just wearing, like, really, not necessarily even cute shoes, but something that outstands the rest of your outfit, like, makes all the difference. She's a fashionista. <laughs> Ta -da. I'm really into casual clothes.
I have had three couples propose here at the Venetian. During your tour? During my oh, tour. Nice. Yep. Super exciting. I felt very honored every time. So this spot here, I love coming to. You've got all the classic Venice architecture here. The Venetian behind you, which was built in 1999. And then the Palazzo joined it in 2007. Perfect. Right now we're getting the Venetian back behind you as well. Oh, and the bells. All right, so we're gonna go down and take photos in one of my favorite spots, which is right down here next to all the gondolas. The outdoor gondolas normally start running between 10 and 11 o'clock, so we can normally get some gondola action in the background of our photos. Okay guys, so we are done for the day. We went to so many picturesque spots. Uh, thank you so much to Lydia thank for you. taking us <laughs> to all of these locations. So if you want to book uh, with Lydia, you just contact her. Yeah, you can actually contact me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Las Vegas Photo Tour. You can also find me on Airbnb Experiences as well. I normally give tours Friday through Tuesday. Thank you so much, Norma, for having me with yes. you. This was fun. We had a beautiful sunny day today. Yes, it was. It's a little hot, that's why we do morning tours. That's right, 9 to 11 a.m. is the sweet spot. Thank you, Tim, for coming <laughs> with us. Don't forget to follow Las Vegas Views on Instagram. You can take your own tour, go through all the maps, and take better pictures. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, uh, and tell me what's your favorite place to take a picture here in Las Vegas. One more time, thanks again to Lydia. Follow her on her Instagram, take her tour, and then also follow Tim, who's uh, taking video right now on Las Vegas Views with two S's. But thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Go ahead and pop that one. Am I jumping in? No. Oh. And I bought. I bought. Okay. Oh, what? No. <laughs> Tim's like, wait a minute. The flamingo habitat is free. Okay. We can take as many as you want. What? <laughs> We do it every time, baby. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Wait, wait, I'm doing this too early. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. And as like, and as always, guys. Sorry. Are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Tim, you're the worst. And okay, yes, and give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, smile. No smile. No smile. Okay. Make make love to my camera. Make love to my camera. Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Excellent. This is trash. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs>